Cantilever Brakes Goals To evaluate and adjust a cantilever brake Tools needed Fourth hand tool 5mm Allen key 10mm box wrench Small Phillips head screwdriver Parts to identify Brake calipers Caliper tension spring Brake bosses Mounting bolt Brake pad Step 1. Check your wheels. It is important that your wheels are installed correctly and in good condition for your brakes to work properly. Make sure the wheel is all the way in the dropouts and centered and that the rim is true. Step 2. Check your brake levers. Cantilever brakes use a normal short pull brake lever. This type of lever can also be used with side pull or center pull brakes. It is not compatible with free brakes or mechanical disc brakes. Make sure you have the correct lever. Step 3. Install cantilever brakes. Grease the bosses and install the brake, inserting the spring into the middle hole and the brake boss. Tighten the mounting bolt to be snug, but not too tight or it may damage the brake boss. Step 4. Install brake pads. Using an Allen key and a combination wrench, set the brake pads so they contact the rim flat but with the front touching slightly before the rear. This is called brake toe. The pad should sit about one millimeter from the top of the rim. Make sure they do not contact the tire. The brake pad should also be equal distance from the brake arms to start. Step five, attach the cable. Some cantilever brakes have a short cable called the straddle cable. This cable sits in one side of the brake and anchors at the other. A yoke is used to pull the straddle cable and engage the brake. If you set the yoke too low, it may rub on the tire and damage the cable, or cause your wheel to lock up. If you set the yoke too high, you will lose braking power. For best results, try setting the yoke so that the straddle cable roughly makes a 90 degree angle. In the place of a yoke and straddle cable, you could also use a link wire, which allows the brake cable to pass through the anchor directly to the brake. There are different lengths, and you should choose one that allows the cable to sit at roughly a 90 degree angle. Step 6. Centering. If one brake pad hits the rim before the other, or if the brake consistently rubs on the side, you can adjust the centering of the brake. On the side that is rubbing, turn the screw at the base of the brake arm clockwise. This will pull the pad away from the rim. If the screw is all the way in and won't turn anymore, go to the other side and turn the screw counterclockwise. If you are still not successful, or your brake does not have these screws, you can remount the brake, putting the spring in a different hole. The top hole will add tension and make the brake pad sit further away from the rim, and the bottom hole less tension and make it sit closer to the rim.